guys, uh, just bringing you some yoga today. Uh, we need to try to keep on top of both our physical and mental well-being. And for me, yoga is a way that I can reconnect back into my body and my breath and try to come out of all the hype that's in my head. And if you're anything like me, there's probably a little bit more of that than usual at the moment. So don't need any equipment, just your mat or the carpet. Uh, Preggy ladies, grab a big pillow or a bolster or a block to sit on so that our spine is nice and tall. And just close down the eyes. Start to take in the breath in through the nose and out through the mouth, but softly so. And then if you breathe in, breathe right into the base of the belly and then softly side out the mouth. Just do that one more time. Deep breath in through the nose. Directing your breath down to your baby or to your belly. And then a full but soft breath out. Just take a couple of more considered breaths so as if you're breathing and feeling right into the bottom of your lungs, up into the chest, right into the edges of your cavity of the lungs. And then escaping, letting the air softly come out. And just by slowing down the breath, we have a considerable effect on our nervous system and the hormones that govern how we feel and give us that little bit of space between thought and reaction, thought and action. It's something I'm really, really working on at the moment. Always a work in progress. Take two more breaths. Peep the open with the eyes open, reach up on the breath in, and then interlace the fingers, press them up towards the sky. If you reach up, try to lift the shoulder blades up, but keep the uh, breastbone down, connecting a little bit into the belly so the, the belly or your baby draws back in towards your spine. Take a breath in to stretch up, and as you exhale, pressing forwards, rounding through the upper back. Take a breath in to stretch up, reach up. Again, keep the belly and the lower ribs contained. And then exhale, pressing forwards. Good, two more inhale, reach up, stretch up, get long in the side waist. And then exhale, rounding and curling. Good, stretch up, reach up. Arms can come behind, clasp again. Just a little chest opener here. So wriggle the shoulder blades together down the back. Keep the elbows soft, not locked. And then still keep that containment of the lower ribs and belly as you just start to reach hands or lift your hands a little further away from your butt. Go take another breath in, broaden across your collarbones and then exhale, soften and release. I'll come into a side stretch here, so reach up, keep the right sitting bone connected to the earth as you reach the right arm up to the sky and then as you exhale you'll switch sides, inhale to reach up and stretch up. So sitting bone stays pressing down into the earth to stabilise through your pelvis couple more times each side, reach up, press sitting bone, right side into the earth if you stretch up and over, maybe a little further. Good, one more time, breathe in, stretch up. And exhale. All right, slowly coming up here, take your hands behind your head, take a breath in, and then as you exhale, you're just gonna twist gently towards the left. So anyone who's pregnant, no dramas, you can do this movement as we're just twisting through the upper body here. Think about staying really contained in through the belly and then use your exhale breath to squeeze the shoulder blades at the back to drive the, the, uh, the rotation. Good, inhale back through centre, exhale left. Good. One more time, inhale centre and exhale right. Okay, we'll come off the block or the bolster and just coming over onto hands and knees, we'll come through a couple of rounds of cat-cow. So, Hands should be a little further forwards than underneath the shoulders directly. We'll take a breath in just to lift up through the heart and let my lower back is not dipping. And then exhale, rounding. So in pregnancy in particular, we're not going to over accentuate that arch of the low back. It's probably already somewhat in that position. So squeeze the shoulder blades and lift the heart, but keep lifting the belly. And then the exhale, rounding and curling. Good. So inhale is back to neutral. We're just lifting the breastbone, not lowering, not to arching the low back and then exhale, pressing through the floor. Good, last one, inhale here, and exhale, rounding. Good, walk your hands back towards your body, 
left leg can come forwards and then we'll inhale and stretch up. As you exhale, stay here, but draw your legs energetically towards each other. A little squeeze of front heel to back thigh. Take a breath in to stretch up and then open twist. So front hand towards front leg, left hand towards left leg. Inhale back to center and then exhale, open twist. Good, breathe in, stretch up. Exhale, open twist, stay here. Take your back hand onto your low back and take a mini back bend. Belly stays drawing in, just lifting up through the heart. Good, and then we'll slowly come back down. Right hand down, turn your right shin out and we'll come into a modified gate pose. So a nice little side stretch here. We can lift up, stretching the side body. Squeeze the back of your body so you're lifting a little bit through your heart. Maybe floating that left leg up off the floor. Really squeeze the outer hips and the belly to spine or baby towards spine. If you're doing this action, take another breath in. And as you exhale, you'll come back in, maybe through one round of cat cow, heart lifts, and then back lifts, and then coming back to centre. This time, right leg will come forwards. You can use your hand to your thigh if you need to. And then stretch up on the breath in, open twist on the breath out. Good, inhale, reach up. Exhale. Good, one more, breathe in. And exhale. Back hand to the lower back, take a mini back bend, even take your hand behind your head. And then as we exhale, we'll slowly come down. That left knee is gonna, or the left shin is gonna turn out rather, and then we'll stretch out either bottom, uh, back leg on the floor, or we'll start to lift it up off the earth. Good, strong in through belly, strong in through outer hips. Take another breath in, and as you exhale, coming back down, couple of rounds of cat-cow. Breathe in, lift the heart forwards, and then breathe out, press into the earth. Take your knees nice and wide here and sit back. Again, preggy babies, especially second and third trimester, as we come into child's pose, you need to elevate your upper body. You can rest either on uh, your forearms, on your fists, or on a block or a bolster. Knees are really nice and wide here to make space for the belly if that's the case that you're needing to do that. And then just slow down the breath. Big breaths in, drinking in the air through the nose. And exhaling the air out through the mouth. And exhale. Child's pose is a really great one just to connect in with that sort of intuition and to kind of bring our senses back in towards the body. And so if we're feeling overwhelmed, taking that little bit of internalization and taking some deep breaths can be really helpful. We'll come back into uh, quadruped position. We'll take the left arm up to the sky for a breath in. So lots of spine movement here. Stretch it through underneath. Go breathe in, stretch up. Again, preggy ladies, we're just twisting through the thoracic spine, the upper body. I don't really want to twist too much through the belly when we're pregnant, but we do want to keep mobile through our upper back uh, as it gets a little restricted, obviously with the changing shape of our form. So last time, breathe in, stretch up, and then exhale. We're going to rest uh, on the floor with the head if we can, maybe stretching one arm forwards, Doing an extra stretch in through the back of the shoulder blades here. All right, slowly coming back up. We'll take the other side. So right arm reaches up, breathe in. Press it under, breath it out. So inhale, reach up, stretch up. Exhale, reaching through. So inhale, breathe in. Exhale, twist again. It's like you're moving just through that space between the shoulder blades here. Moving with the sternum bone, the breastbone. One more time up. And then as you exhale, you'll reach that arm under. Let the ear drop on the mat. Maybe take your opposite arm overhead. Then we're getting this stretch into the side body. And if we can send some breath there. A really great way to decompress in through the lungs. And through the ribs. Good. One more breath in. And breath out. Alright, slowly coming back up. Just going to come up 
into a downward dog and take about three breaths. Preggy ladies, nice wide feet, belly stays connected. And just breath. Try to press the earth away if you're staying lifted in through the shoulder girdle and the belly. And last breath. And slowly coming back down. Nice, beautiful stretching for the shoulders, downward dog. Conscious of time, we're going to just sit onto a block, come into Malasana pose for a couple of breaths before a seated meditation. So, a little modified Malasana here, feet together, holding onto the outer edges of your feet. If you're not pregnant, you can come up into the full variation of Malasana. And just start to close down the eyes. And whenever we're opening the pelvis, especially in pregnancy and postpartum, there's still a connection into the inner thighs and the pelvic floor to help keep the pelvis stable. Breathing air down right into the bowl of the pelvis and the exhale breath is a good opportunity to start to lift and draw up through pelvic floor. And so the inhale is a soften and the exhale is a drawing and a lift. Strong in through the base of our body, our pelvic floor, our core. It's so the ability to stay grounded and stay connected, to stay stable, even though everything around us may be uh, completely topsy turvy. And so, it's taking this time out for yourself, even if it is just 10 minutes a day, whether you have no children or 10 children and they need to join in, or whatever it is, making that time to consciously connect in with breath and with body. And then you're going to feel so much better through this time of turmoil. Thanks for joining in, joining every day for a different way that you can move at home, stay fit, stay active, and keep mentally fit and strong too. Namaste.